Since men set foot on earth, there was a question that puzzled the human brain and that was the dark silent night sky, the part of the universe. This theory of evolution is a small attempt to channelize the famous theories in a chain of logic. The journey begins from the year 1929 when a Belgian priest George Lameter came up with a mind-blowing idea, famously known as Big Bang. It overrode all the theories extant until then and set an idea that the universe was formed out of a primordial natural substance that was filled up with a fiery energy and was formed with a sudden third. It began to expand and still persist in process. The universe that formed consisted of vast number of galaxies. Our Milky Way is one such galaxy. There is an obvious question. What is the difference between universe, galaxy and constellation? In this consequence of logic, we are led to a common element amongst all of these, that is a star. In an attempt to define the formation of a star, astrophysicist Christopher F. Mackey and Mark R. Crumhole observed and modeled the formation of a star in distant galaxies. They made public various observations and explained the various ways of formation of stars in 2008. Thus defining the element star and a specific pattern made by this body called constellation, the entire Hindu astrology is based on it. Next in this sequence is galaxy and accumulation of a star. Hubble Space Telescope, a space-based instrument, observed galaxy formation as a continuous process and said merger among us galaxies occurs more often. These recent discoveries opened up our imagination and further channelized our logic. We got to know that our Milky Way is a galaxy that is placed in the southern sky of our universe. Our sun and our solar system is a part of this galaxy. And our earth, this life supporting planet where our ancestors got birth. This leads to the next set of questions. How did life begin on Earth? Operin's theory answered the question logically and proved that it was the simple molecule that formed first and that was called the primordial soup. This life-giving substance gave birth to the unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms became multicellular organisms and further developed into complex organisms. Because of their desire to adopt and their changing environment as said in the Lamarck's theory. Darwin observed that the organisms must have evolved from a common descent via natural selection and orthogenesis. It might seem logical but it did not cover the scope of possibilities related to the origin of humans. The origin of human and evolution of human are two different theories. The difference lies in the vastness of logic and faith, science and reason and Darwinism and Structuralism where on one hand Darwin theory of evolution seems logical on the other hand religious texts such as Hindu Puranic text, Islamic text Hadith and Christian ideology from Roman Catholic Church sometimes talks of idealism and panaspermia then on other hand they talk, talk about special creation and has lot of faith associated with it. The question remains whether to believe these logical scientific theories or to keep faith with this illogical religious text. This will be quite early to exclaim anything. So we we'll let this on you to decide. We we'll keep raising interesting questions and bring the findings to you in the simplest way. That's all for today. Late India rush for logic. Like and subscribe only if you like content. And do criticize for the better logic to stay afloat. It's time to say goodbye from the team Nipaku.